Hi guys, this is Fernando. In this video tutorial that we are going to do today, um, I want to show you how to create a realistic pool water and also include some caustics. Um, I have uh, basic pools that I uh, create and also I have some other uh, components in the pool but basically the material for the water that I have right now is just a uh, plain um, gray material. I want to create a render to show you what I have as my water material and then I will create the water for my pools. So this is what I have as my water material. You can see it's just a plain um, gray material. I'm going to convert or to create a water material using reflections and refractions so let me right click on the scene material and create a new standard material this is this one here I want to right click on the material and rename the material pool water the first thing that I want to to do is just create the reflection and the refraction layer <coughs> so right click on the create layer reflections right click on the uh, material, create layer, and refractions. In the reflections, I want to use a Fresnel's effect to have reflection depending on the point of view of the camera. And for the reflection higher value, I don't want a very reflective water, so I'm going to use a point 1.33 for my higher value, and also I'm going to use the same um, higher value for my refractions 0.33. So now I need to tint the color of the water, and for tint the color of the water, I'm going to use a pot color. So in this color, I'm going to use kind of bluish color. Let me use exactly the, the, the one that I used for the uh, uh, image. So I use 205, 247, and 255. This is the palette that I use for my for the image that you are going to see in the in this video. So click OK, and the R value. This control um, the, also the the the, the intents of the tint, the intents of the color as well. So I'm gonna use 0.1 to reduce the color also of the uh, uh, water material. Okay, I want to use a uh, image to create the wave of the pool of the water. So to create a displacement. Um, in order to see that bond map in the viewport, I'm going to create or to apply the texture in my diffuse layer. I'm going to find the texture. <coughs> so it's going to be these textures. And click OK. But I have to apply this material to the water and after that I will keep working with the material. So let me go to the material here, pull water and I just want to apply that material to the face. As you can see the tile options is not the the one that I need I mean the, the one that I need, yes. So I'm going to click ed edit and change the scale. I'm going to break the link so I want to use different value um, and for the for the horizontal value, I'm gonna type 40. Actually, 40. And 30. So let's say that this is the the kind of a scale that I want for my pool. Okay. So then go back to my material. And if you click on the preview, you are going to see the texture that I use in the material. Basically because my transparency of the diffuse layer is completely opaque. So I'm seeing right now the diffuse layer. To hide the diffuse layer, I'm going to click on the M near transparency and apply an A color. And I want to use white because in B-Ray white means 100% transparency. Um, now, if I click preview, I have a nice blue water material, 
but I have to create or to apply the, the displacement. So let me go to the map options, click on displacement to enable it, and also click on the M, and then I'm going to use a bitmap. Click on the uh, file picker, and I'm going to use exactly the same um, text that I use for my displacement for my diffuse layer because the diffuse, the diffuse layer is going to be a representation of my displacement. The value here, the multiplier is 0.5, so I'm going to raise the wave of my pool uh, a half of, of an inches. And also, I'm going to disable use global and I'm going to uh, increase the edge length because my water is it's very close to this to the to my uh, camera if I use four or less than four I'm going to increase the render the render time so I use 12 just to have a really nice and fast displacement okay if I click preview right now you are going to see the effect of the displacement in the final material this is the water material now I'm going to create a render without caustic to see the water material Okay, click render. Okay, guys, this is a water material. You can see a nice um, displacement using the uh, uh, texture, but the material doesn't look kind of the realism that I that I need. So, in in order to increase the realism, I'm gonna use um, caustics. In order to enable the caustic, I'm going to go to my options and click on the caustic tab. And enable the caustic. By default, we have photon uh, maximum photon to 30. The maximum photon. This is the maximum um, photon that VFA is going to use to uh, calculate the uh, the caustic. The multiplier is the intensity of the caustic. The search distance basically is a radio around the given point where VFA is going to calculate the caustic. If you use a small value, you are going to have sharper uh, caustic but also noisy uh, caustic if you use a big value or large value you are going to have a blurry caustic for now I'm going to let all the default of the value by default even the Sun so I have my setting are all by default I don't have any other setting just the default setting so I'm gonna make another render to see what we have with caustic you have to keep in mind that the caustic depend also of the position of the Sun if you have the sun just right straight in the middle of the pool, probably you are not going to have enough caustic. If you have a, a sun in a certain angle, so you're going to have uh, you're going to be the, you're going to have uh, the chance to get more caustic or a very more realistic caustic. Okay, you see in my um, GI calculation, I could see the caustic here, but it's just in this small part. What is what is going on? Why I have this caustic in, in this small part? The reason is because the circle, the sun, have a radio around around it to calculate the caustic. This is called the photon radius. It's like a radio, like like a, a cylinder um, around the the sun vector. So this is the, the the size of the of that radius. It's just a small one. That's why I could only see a, just a small part of the caustic. If I want to achieve more caustic, I have to increase that re radius. In order to increase the radius, click on the options, go to the environment, and click on the materials. I mean on the uh, M for on the mapping for the sun. Here in the sun options, in the sampling options, you have a photon radius. This is the radio that I'm talking about. It's a radio ar around the sun vector. Just increase the the radius. In this case, I'm going to increase the radio to uh, 500 and click OK. Then I'm going to create another render to see if I am able to achieve more caustic around the whole pool. Okay, guys, you can see now I have caustic everywhere in my pool, but my caustic is kind of blurry. Um, the quality of the caustic is not er good enough. So let me change some parameter to control that blurriness on the caustic. The first thing is the search distance. If you increase the first distance, the search distance, you are going to have uh, a lot of blurry caustic. If you reduce its value, you are going to have you are going to uh, reduce the radio where Vitro is searching for the for the uh, pixel to control the caustic. So I'm going to use three in this case. Also the maximum photon. To calculate the caustic, I'm going to use a hundred because 
if you have more photon, your cows is going to be more uh, it's going to be uh, defining better. And also, the if you see the multiplier, the intensity of the caustic is too too low. So I'm going to increase the multiplier just a little bit, 1.5. And the, one of the most important values to control the quality of the of the caustic is the caustic subdivision. This guy is very important to control the caustic subdivision. So in this example, this value is really high. You could use between 3,000 and 6,000, um, but I'm going to use 800 just to pop off a really good caustic. So I'm going to click OK and those are the final setting for my caustic. Again, caustic subdivision, let me use 6,000. 6, caustic subdivision is very important to control the quality of the caustic. Also the uh, search distance, low, uh, small value produce sharp caustic. My caustic right now are very blurry. So I need to uh, reduce the search distance to produce a sharper caustic. And also the for a maximum photon control the amount of photon that you are going to use. So I, I increase the maximum photon to one one um, hundred. So those are my final uh, caustic setting. Let's create another render. Here we go, guys. You can see now how my caustic are really nice, really sharp, and also a little bit more intense. So this is pretty cool. This is what I want to show you how to control the caustic, how to create a caustic, a realistic water pool using caustic. And let me show you the final image after just a small um, Photoshop corrections, a background. You can see how nice, how realistic you uh, the pool, this pool could be with a very good water and with a very nice caustic setting. This is Fernando. Hopefully you can enjoy this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.